The next feature I'd like to show you is how to cut the model using the extrude tool. This feature works exactly the same way as a regular extrude, except it removes material instead of adding material. The profile for the cut is defined in a sketch. Once you have a sketch created and visible in the browser, just click the extrude icon to bring up the options. Next, select the profile you wish to use for the cut. And by default, Inventor shows a preview of material being added. To instead cut the model, take a look at these icons. The default option for an extrude is Join, meaning you're joining this new material with the existing body. Below that is Cut. When I select it, you see the material being removed from the model. You have the same controls for the cut depth and extents as you do when adding material. But one very useful option is the All Extent. It's very common to create cuts that go through entire parts. The All option allows you to achieve this without having to type in the thickness of the material you are cutting. A nice benefit of using All is that even if the thickness of the part changes, the cut will still go through the entire part. Be careful though, you don't want to cut away material accidentally.